Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Today I want to do a very casual vlog just talking to you about things that have been going on in my life for the past few weeks or so. Basically, as you may or may not know, I've been working at the Prince Edward Theatre for the past eight months. I started working there in July of 2014 and it's been great fun. I mean, I've had some great times there and some of you guys have come and seen the show whilst I've been there and you've met me and it's been great. But recently, um, to be more precise, about 10 days ago, I made the decision to leave the job. So I had to go through the process of handing in my notice, explaining to people that I was going to leave and what I was going to go on to, and just generally making the big decision to leave something that I actually enjoyed doing. And that's difficult for me. I had never had to leave a job before this. So it's been a very strange experience. It's been a very new experience to me. All the jobs that I've had before, not that I've had very many, but the few jobs that I've had before were either internships that were like six months long or something and I just finished doing them, or they were just temporary jobs, again, like for three months or something, I just finished doing it, or I moved countries and so I just had to leave the job or something like that. It's never been a situation where I've had to make the big decision myself to leave a job and for that reason it was quite a scary and weird experience for me like I said. However, it wasn't something that I did on a whim. I've been thinking about leaving for several months now, which makes it sound really weird. I think the first time that I genuinely thought oh, I kind of want to leave this job was probably around October or November of last year. So that's like around five months ago and yet I didn't actually make the decision to leave properly until recently. It's weird, you know, it's weird when you're in a job where you actually enjoy most of what you're doing and you enjoy the people that you're around and yet you think maybe it's time to move on. I'd never experienced something like this before, like I said, so doing it felt very bizarre, but it also felt very nice in a, in a really strange way. The thing is, overall, I really enjoyed working front of house at the Prince Edward Theatre. I still remember when I first got the job back in the summer of 2004. It was so random, like I definitely didn't expect to get the job. It wasn't the job that I was like really wanting to get or anything. It was very casual, I think I just gave in my CV or something and a few days later they called me and they asked me to go for an interview and I went and literally like about half an hour after the interview they rang me and said that I had the job. And I was very happy because I had no expectations, like I genuinely didn't think that I was going to get the job. It wasn't like I'd set my mind to definitely getting this job, it wasn't like a massive deal to me. I just literally went to the interview casually thinking, oh well it'd be cool to get the job, you know, let's just see what happens. and then they rang me and said that I had the job and it was really great and honestly looking back now thinking back to that moment um, it makes me kind of feel emotional because I was very excited I'm not gonna lie when I first got the job I was very excited because as somebody who loves theatre I mean you guys know from watching my videos on my channel I absolutely love theatre the thought of just working in a theatre and not just any theatre a, a really great theatre in the West End was amazing to me and I was very excited I, I still remember how excited I was on my first shift excited and scared and nervous at the same time but still pretty excited and honestly I mean, in the first month or so that I was working there, I loved it so much that every night I would come home and my mum would be like, so how was work? And I'd be like, it doesn't even feel like work, mum. It literally feels like I'm having a great time with people that I enjoy talking to. I vividly remember this one night when I came home. I'd probably been at the job for around two or three weeks at the time. And my parents were watching TV and I came home and I was like, hi guys. And I was very happy and just cheerful for some reason. And I went to the living room and I just announced to them that I would absolutely love to do this job that I'm doing now for the rest of my life. And I remember they were both quite shocked. Like they were like, really? Like, is that really what you want to do for the rest of your life? I just found a house job. And I was like, well, yeah, I mean, it's not, all I want to do but I wouldn't mind if this was all I ever did in this theatre because I just I'm loving it so much and I'm loving the people and it's just great and I guess they kind of laughed at me they were happy for me that I was very happy you know at my job and stuff but I think they knew that I was just it was just a phase you know the beginning of a job is always like a fun and exciting time. Like at the beginning of anything really, the beginning of a relationship, the beginning of a friendship, the beginning of it is normally the best time of it, I think. But obviously soon I realised that it's definitely not something that I want or can do for the rest of my life. I think for me, one of the biggest problems was the repetitiveness of it. I am somebody who enjoys doing different things. I like adventure, I like variety. I grew up in four different countries, so I'm used to change. I, I can't stay in the same place or the same thing for, for a very long time. It's just not in my personality. And before I knew it, I was just bored of what I had to do every day. Bored of selling programs, bored of selling ice creams, doing bar work, bored of 
watching the show. Like the show itself I think was the first thing that got to me. Having to watch it pretty much every day is difficult and I mean obviously it's not difficult in the sense that you know you just have to watch a show and an amazing show as well so it does sound a bit ridiculous complaining about that but trust me when you're in a position where you have to actually watch the show and listen to the show every day it does drive you mad a bit and it started to do that to me and I was a bit upset because I had enjoyed the show the first time I'd seen it before I got the job and yet it was driving me crazy because I was watching it so often and I was like I just can't be dealing with this anymore but obviously there were so many other factors in the job that I really enjoyed so I stayed because this one situation of just having to watch the show wasn't gonna you know make me want to leave. Around late August early September of last year was when I started to actually make really good friends at work and looking back now at my whole time at the Prince Edward Theatre I think my favourite months working there were probably September and October of 2014 because those were the times when I'd finally found like my friendship group at work and I knew exactly who I loved talking to and who I enjoyed hanging out with and work had just become incredibly fun because of these people that I was working with and I was seeing every day. I had a best friend at work which was amazing. Just some that I could talk to about anything anytime I wanted you know just complain about the job or just laugh about stuff and having that person I think really made a big difference to my happiness at work and I think I've read so much about like stuff like that and I think uh, it says scientifically that you know if you have a best friend at work you're more likely to be happy with your working conditions and I had that throughout September and October and November as well but funnily enough even though I had really good friends at work at that time obviously I'd got to know people and I'd completely settled in by then I was being a part of the family and all that. That sounds really cheesy, but anyway. Despite having all that and genuinely, you know, loving a lot of the people that I was working with and knowing exactly who my friends were, around October time was when I decided that I just really couldn't do it anymore. There were some days at work that I just apparently looked and felt sad. My best friend at work used to notice it and it's funny that she did because I guess I didn't notice it myself very much but she would come up to me and be like Sam are you okay today? Like you're just you're not yourself and then the next day I'd be fine I'd be just my normal happy self. But I started to realise that I was having more sad days at work than than happy days. Whereas in the first few months it was just happy times every day. And I guess what was making me feel down like I said is just the monotony of the, of the, of the job and the repetitiveness of it and just the fact that you had to do just very boring things every single day. And yes, obviously having people that you enjoy hanging out with and laughing with is great, but the job is still a job and you still have to do a lot of things that can probably maybe bring you down. Also, obviously I don't want to go into too much detail because YouTube's not a place for me to complain about things, but it was around that time that I started to see some of the some of the not so good sides of the job and the theatre and the company. I just wasn't happy with certain things and certain people. Not the people that I was working with, not my fellow ushers, but just some of the people above me maybe, or just some of the rules that were in the theatre. I just, I wasn't agreeing with a lot of the things and I guess for that reason I was feeling a bit unhappy. About a month after I started having these feelings, my best friend at work decided that she was going to leave. I knew that she was leaving, like I knew that she wanted to leave and stuff, but I thought she was going to leave more towards like Christmas time. But luckily for her, she got a job uh, quicker and I'm very happy for her, but like the fact that she left around November, I think that was quite difficult for me. I had other friends and stuff, there were other people at work that I enjoyed talking to but she was like my go-to person at work, she was the person that I could literally talk to about anything and she made my work a lot easier because if I had a bad day at work she could just make me happy somehow just by being there, just by saying something funny I would laugh and again I think I didn't realise how hard it was for me until she left and I was like Ah, huh, it's quite it's quite weird without her. But I still continued working. I mean, you would have seen in my Vlogmas videos um, that was pretty much about a week after my best friend at work left. And I was still loving life. Like, I had other friends at work and it was still fun. I was doing different things. I was on bar again, so it was like a different experience. It was good times. And I kind of just went through the motions and I was like, yeah, I mean, it's fine. But by that point, I had decided that I was definitely going to leave soon. I knew that I just simply couldn't do it for a lot longer and I think at this point it wasn't the fact that my best friend had gone it wasn't the fact that I had to watch the show every day it wasn't the fact that I just didn't like the job it was simply the fact that I wanted to do more in life than just be a front of house person. I was just bored of my day to day life. My mind wanted to do more, I wanted to do more creative stuff, I wanted to do more difficult stuff, you know? Things that involved a bit more effort and creativity than just selling a few programmes or selling ice creams. And obviously at that point I knew that I wasn't going to continue doing this job for much longer. So I looked around at things that 
wanted to do and other potential jobs that I could go to and eventually I decided that the best thing for me was to do a course because as you guys know I love making vlogs, I love making videos and whatnot but I've never really had any proper training in video making and it's always been something that I've wanted to do and as you may have seen in my goals for 2015 video I really wanted this year 2015 to be the year where I learned more about the things that I really enjoy doing like making videos and so I found this course that's a documentary making course and I enrolled in it and they offered me a place and I'm starting that in about two weeks time. The course is pretty short it's only about two months but from what I've read about it it should teach me most of the stuff that I want to learn about making documentary videos. After I got the place at this course I decided that obviously it was time to leave because it's a full-time course every day including some weekends and I thought it was a perfect time for me to finally leave this job. Honestly I can't explain to you how hard it was to hand in my notice. I was very nervous for some reason, I was a bit scared as well just because I'd, I'd never done it before. I'd never, like I said, voluntarily stopped my employment somewhere. It's always been like it finishing somehow or the, the job finishing or just it's always been very natural me leaving a job, never like me stopping it. But I mean luckily my managers were great about it, um, they were happy for me for what I'm going into and stuff and it was fine, it was a very smooth interaction and it was all good. My colleagues were even better like some of them already knew that I was planning on leaving and the other ones when I told them it felt so hard some it was so difficult to tell some of them especially some of my close friends at work but when I told them they're all happy for me and overwhelmingly nice to me and it just oh it almost made me feel sad that I'm leaving them because I just I realized how great they I mean I knew how great they were but it was just nice to see how supportive they all were about my decision to leave. Obviously front of house jobs are very come and go anyway, people leave all the time, it's not like people go into front of house jobs to stay there for like years and years. I mean some people do and if that's what you want to do that's absolutely fine but most people who do front of house work tend to be actors or creative people of some sort. So normally they don't tend to stay for long anyway. But I mean, it was still really nice to see how uh, caring people were. And the one thing I'm gonna miss the most, definitely uh, from working at the Prince Edward Theatre, is my fellow ushers. They were the people who kept me staying for so long because there's so many times at work where you literally have not much to do and you just have to talk to your fellow colleagues and they're the ones who entertain you and keep you going when you just have nothing else to do when you're bored or whatever they, they're the ones who make you happy at work and it's a very sociable job uh, being a front of house person in a way I think one of my colleagues back when I first started described the job as us getting paid just to socialise pretty much because the job itself is so easy I mean selling programmes ice creams whatever anyone can do it really obviously you have to have a nice kind of charisma and be a nice person and then customer service and all that. But really, the job itself isn't that difficult. So yeah, I'm definitely going to miss the ushers, the fellow ushers that I, I worked with. And I've made some really good friends working here that I hope to keep in touch with for a very long time. One other thing that I'm going to miss, and this is one of the other things I genuinely loved a lot about my job, is the people who come to watch the show. I mean, sometimes you get really rude people who you just don't want to have to deal with, but for the most part, people are great. And I've had such great memories just talking to random strangers who come and watch the show about so many random things. Things. I mean the amount of people, because obviously my name's Samar, my full name's Samar, and the amount of people who've come up to me and said, did you know that Samar's an island in the Philippines? I've literally lost count. I think there must have been at least 50 people who've told me this since I started working here. Because a lot of Filipinos come to visit the show, Miss Saigon, which is playing at the Princess of Theatre at the moment, and when they see my name badge, which says Samar on it, they literally come up to me all excitedly saying, oh my god, did you know that Samar's the name of an island in the, in the Philippines? And I'm like, yes, I I've heard that before. Especially because literally I've heard that for the very first, I think maybe it was my second shift or something, that somebody came up to me and said that, and since then I've heard it pretty much once a week or something. I also love having incredibly random conversations with people sometimes. Sometimes I just like making people laugh, like today for instance. I was in the foyer, which means I just tear people's tickets and stuff when they first come in. And this group of young ladies came and they showed me their tickets and I was just in a silly mood for some reason. So I looked at the tickets and I looked up to them and I was like, I'm afraid you're in the wrong theatre, guys. And I waited for a couple of seconds just to see their reactions and they all looked so terrified for a sec. And then I was like, I'm joking. And they laughed so hard after that. They're like, I can't believe you did that to us. And I was like, sorry, I just wanted to be a bit funny for some reason. And it's just moments like that that I'm gonna miss, just making people laugh and joking with customers and just chatting about fun stuff to them. Just today actually some guy came to me and immediately just as soon as they entered the theatre they came to me, read my name badge and was like, oh that's a really nice name, Samar, what does it mean and where's it from? And I was like, well it's Iranian, it means telling stories in Persian and he was very impressed by that and just things like that I think are things that I'm gonna miss a lot. And one thing I've also realised doing Front of House is that in a very strange way it almost feels like you're actually on stage or 
yourself. Like especially doing the interval and the incoming and stuff when you're selling programs for instance and you're walking around just holding the programs like you need to be quite a confident person firstly because you've got so many people watching you and looking at you and I love that. <laughs> it sounds really bad but I genuinely love that especially in the dress circle because it's quite a small and intimate area of the theatre compared to the stalls for instance and I just love holding programs and walking around going up and down the stairs and just casually and randomly talking to people about anything like literally I would go up and down and be like just randomly choose someone in the audience and be like oh yeah so how are you doing how are you enjoying the show have you had a good day and stuff like that I am somebody who absolutely loves talking to people and for that reason I think this job this final power show was really good for me and the perfect thing for me in a way because of the people interaction the fact that you just see people constantly and strangers as well as obviously your fellow ushers and that's the thing that I'm going to miss the most but I do think it's the time to change and I'm ready for something new and I think I've done the right decision I've been thinking about it for months and months so hopefully I would have done the right decision but it's been a great eight months and I'm making this video just to share my feelings about the job and this leaving and everything like that and also asking you guys if you've ever had a, an experience like this if you've ever had to leave something like a job or a school or something voluntarily and how you've dealt with it because it's, it's quite difficult you know the thing is though I definitely do think I've done the right decision if that makes sense as my last day is approaching I mean today is Tuesday and I leave on Thursday so I've got three more shows to do I am feeling a little bit sad like I'm trying to make the most of everything at work these past two weeks I've tried my best to make the most of everything like even the little moments that I don't like at work at the moments when I'm bored and stuff I look at them and I'm like oh I'm gonna miss that and I've had such a great last two weeks I'm not gonna lie since I handed in my notice I've just had the best two weeks if that makes sense which is really weird but at the same time I feel completely ready for it to stop soon and for me to go on a new adventure I've had no doubts whatsoever since I handed in my notice I know it's the right thing to do and although I'm definitely gonna miss a lot of the stuff that I did at this job and a lot of the aspects of the job I know it's the right thing and I'm ready for a new adventure so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's a very different video to my normal videos but thank you for listening to me just ramble on and on leave comments down below about your experiences with stuff like this and if you were somebody who met me throughout my time at the Prince Edward Theatre thank you I met about I don't know about maybe 20 of you throughout my time there just random people who would come up to me every now and again and tell me that they watched my video so thank you to all of you who came up to me it was you made my experiences so good and my days and so much better whenever you came up to me it was it's always good to meet you guys and talk to you so thank you for watching as always guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time Bye.